celebrities dripping in the colour pink, it is likely down to a new trend being called Barbie core. Barbie's favourite colour is everywhere, thanks in part to the release of footage from her upcoming movie. Both women and men are popping on the pink. Even our own Prime Minister has jumped on board in a recent appearance on a US talk show. That's good. I like it. I like the pink. Because when you initially said Barbie core, I thought it was a new brand of CrossFit. We you only live barbecues or something, you know? Like that. I, I, feel, I actually feel like a Barbie doll at home because I've got two daughters and they manipulate me into uh, whatever they want to do. <laughs> uh, the pink trend, is this pink enough? No, by the way, I mean, that's a very, very, very pale pink. Right. But, you know, I, it's hard for you. Like, I love pink. I used to hate it when I was growing up. And now I'm just like, yeah, come at me. Power pink for a meeting. Cute pink for a party. Yeah. Just like casual pink like I'm wearing now. You guys have to think about it a little bit harder, I think. How about think. you, Mark? Well, I'm a very manly person. Yes. And, <laughs> but I would think nothing... It's a strange fin off this, because I think nothing of wearing, like, a bright pink golf polo top yeah. playing oh, yeah. golf. But I would never hit a pink golf ball, because that's for women. <laughs> oh, yeah, go figure. More oh. for you, because those pink balls, they go faster than <laughs> turn, so... They're on to something, are they? <laughs> yeah. Well, I played that for a reason in the dark. I've got documentation from my harvest farm door messenger on the 30th of March where I went on my conversations and just Googled after I saw that on the news that I'd heard the Lord say, it's all pink from here. Or it's pink from here. I thought it was strange, but I'm pretty sure I read up my book, but it's on my messenger. And the first time I can see it is the 30th of March. Now, I look further back, and I don't know if you guys know, but my messenger got attacked, and I lost every message from early March so when I look back a couple of posts to see where I documented it, because here I am asking the question, I wonder why the Lord said it's all pink from here, right? So he obviously said it before 30th March. Well, before the 30th March, all my conversations on Messenger, both pages, because I talk also to a group about my dogs and puppies, all of them were wiped and right back to September 2021. So that's September, October, November, December, January, February, March. At five months, and I'm talking all the time on both of those channels for Messenger, were wiped. And I screenshot that because there's a whole lot of question marks and um, this didn't post and do you want to retry? Well, five months disappeared off my messenger and the, one of the first things it said when it comes back to normal is, I wonder why God said it's pink from here. So I've documented it in a YouTube video that's called it's all pink from here and hot pink. And how I was at a friend's place, Paul, and I was watching the what the horse racing was on, and the Lord spoke to me and said, Bet. And I did in my head on horse number eight. Well, I pressed play on the video at the beginning of the horse race. And number eight, he said, bet to win, and number eight won. Then I found out the horse was ridden by a woman, and the horse was called Hot Pink. I still don't know what he's talking about. But as a further witness that I am a sheep and I am hearing his voice, I have posted what's on this. It's just a, an entertainment 
light news that comes after the real news, which is not the real news, on main media television in New Zealand. It's called The Project. So they're talking about something light-hearted, like a fashion trend. And I'd already, I know I had screenshot pictures of the Prime Minister in that hot paint at those meetings. And that's what they feature. And they feature that it's a fashion Barbie trend. Hello Barbie, let's go party. Ooh, 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 ooh. So why is the Lord concerned with paint? What if it's just to say, hey, you mean da-da-da? This is a channel for sheep. Only sheep will understand that if, and the Lord has quickened this to me, if I can trust you in the small things, then you can be trusted in the big things. One of the prayers I have before the Lord is, trust me, can you trust me? I want you to be able to trust me, Lord, because I know in my heart that I'm untrustworthy. I've already abandoned him and turned on him in a rebellion once to be here. I've lived most of my life in that state. How can I become a sheep that the Lord will trust? I have to be trustworthy with everything he says. Step out no matter what. I documented, he said, it's all pink from here. And you can trace, I, they try and walk in our steps. The Lord, we trace the Lord's steps, like we see him and we follow. His steps are when he gave me a heads up for pink, then hot pink. Then Jonathan Clark was highlighting something very important and never in the time, which is nearly three years if I've been watching him, has he ever highlighted anything hot pink. I didn't even know it was in the colour range and never did he. And it came up hot pink and that is documented. The horse was horse number eight. It was hot pink. It came first. I videoed it before the race. And it won. And I said it would win because the Lord told me it would win. The keys were Charlotte. She was having a birthday. It was the 15th of June. It is Paul's niece. I was at her, his house. But her real birthday, I found out from him, is on the 17th. Right, I guys. Everything happens. On the 17th, everything always happens on the 17th. is fire she's pregnant she's going to have puppies every single puppy and birth and dog which i have five is a sign when is she going to have her puppies and you know why she's called fire because before the fire she wasn't supposed to have this litter yellow's been fixed but she went on heat her early. The Lord had her go on heat early so that she would be pregnant. Look. What the heck is going on? What does hot pink mean? It's the last leg of the race. I've had to bet on a horse once before and it was called Red Cloud. The Lord said put $5 on it for a win. These old fellas, Paul and the guy who was on the phone, did not want to put the bet on for me because it was such a far, it wasn't a favourite, it was no way going to win. They didn't want me to bet on a horse. Well, they wouldn't because they're, dub, they're one down, one down, one up, right? Anyway, 
later on that afternoon it came in at one that was in 2019 and it's called red cloud so <laughs> horse racing and then the lord gives me a dream where i'm missing a leg and coming on i'm coming up a bank into the domain which is exactly where i am now full circle the domain dream is about the church with weapons in like a stone building an abandoned building like in the like it's a hundred years old nobody resides in it it's got no roof anymore they're in it and they're all crunched up huddled up there's no roof and they've got weapons guns it's the church the false church i approach them and ask them for a weapon they won't give me a weapon. And I walk away and I say, well, your weapons are useless. Anyway, they've made the mistake. And then I walk around what is a rectangular dusty road. And I'm on the left of a rectangle at a far corner is where the church is. I've got already climbed up. It was the last leg of the race. And this is about two horse races. One was Red Cloud. When I googled red cloud, it's red bloody clouds. It's red sky. And it also is an Indian chief called Red Cloud, who's the most photographed chief of all the native Indians in America. That's what he's famous for. Strange. Well, it will all make sense. Same as hot pink. Why was it hot pink? To do with roommate and the number 17. Sorry. And the way they Skype, aren't we doing well? That's the Hebrew and the Greek for 17, the meaning. It can be up, it can be down. The Lord will turn everything up and work for good. We've got a heads up, we've got the intel, hot pink. It wins the race. So does Red Cloud. Yes, they win. It looks like they win. But the first will be last. We know the scripture. We know how it ends. We're at the end. Jonathan Clegg said, oh, that was unexpected. Hot pink. He got a highlight hot pink. I've documented it. What does it mean? Why was it that everything was white five months of my messenger and it comes back just when I write this question I wonder what God meant by everything is pink from here well if he tripped the word is if he trusts if he can trust you in the little things I don't even know if it's scriptural my prayers like I said is always help me to be trustworthy Lord be faithful with the small things you're told and step out because the Lord will back you. And he's backed me all the way. It won the race and I put the video up. This is the last leg. I'm in the domain. I'm walking away from the church. They have weapons. I'm not hiding my light under a bushel. I just got a scripture from a Strong's number that the Lord had me lock up this morning. And it was about that scripture, about igniting a fire, a light. And it was about the one, the lamp, that you don't hide I'm standing there in this domain dream after walking away from the church. The last camper is leaving. It's like an old a campground. There's a camper that leaves. It's not a caravan. It's a camper that never represents God. A camper. They're in control of everything, aren't they? 
So that leads, and I and they ignore me, and they're out of there. They're out of there very quick because this is about a, this is about an invasion. Because the next thing, <clears throat> I look around. I'm in the open. I'm not hoarding and hiding and huddling with weapons. I'm shining my light. I see a bushel, but it's right in the middle of this rectangular domain, a long way away, and I don't even think of going to get shelter or hiding, even though I know they're coming. At they're, com they're coming out. The troops are arriving. And then right beside me, an elevator opens up, comes out of the ground, and up comes... Now, these. this is very vivid. Like mercenaries, they're all in black. Um, like a SWAT team. They've got lights, rifles ready, and they're they coming out like it's a TARDIS. And they file up to the far corner, they file straight out past me to the centre and quite a few of them go straight down to that church that's got no watchman, there's no watchman watchman, their weapons are useless and I'm standing there just like I pray to God that you will, stepping out, not hiding my light, not even trying And if I find the strongest number, which I got tonight, uh, this morning, I'll put it on and you can look up the scriptures under that number. Now, I'll try and recall where it came from. Oh, yeah, it came from the timestamp of the summer I turned pretty, where we've got the man or the young man from the Adidas ad who takes the name of Jeremiah, who the girl gets to select, who she's going to this ball with. she got two to choose from. One's called Jeremiah, and he's having an interview, and he's in the centre of his two friends. One plays the brother, and one plays the other man, that the other young man that the girl has to consider. And he's in the centre, and he's the boy from the Adidas ad, who says... The time is now or never, which points to sleepless in Seattle, which points to your rapture, which points to the fucking invasion, guys. Because that's what I saw coming up from the pit. And I'm standing there and I'm invisible because I'm trusted by the Lord because he's trusted me with the small things. And the beginning of this video is proof. If nothing else, it's all pink from here, is documented, and it's a fad. Do you understand? The small things. It may be bigger than the small things, but it's pretty big that I'm giving you a heads up that the Lord has given me. They're here. This is a, an invasion I've seen on foot. And they're going straight for that church. Don't hide. Don't run. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And for goodness sake, don't fall for this horrible fad of wearing pink. Because... We know what that brigade's about, don't we? The pink brigade. And we know about now, can you think about Pink Floyd? You know that Floyd is the name of Glory's father. He lost his eye. Glory's father lost his eye. It got poked out by a husky. That husky belongs to the lady who wanted a male stud from me when Glory and Yellow were having puppies. And they had them on Christmas Day. And the Lord told me in November that he had this thing wrapped up. 
And that takes us back to 2020. Full circle, which is where I'm at. We've lost two years holding fast. We are holding fast now. The Lord said, hold, hold, hold. It's all mass murder from here, which you've seen. And now the word is, just like Clex said, stand, hold, stand firm, no, stand fast, hold fast. The Lord said to me, hold fast, and then click, found the word. He got kicked in the head by the Lord, felt like a rugby ball, he said. Hold fast, but the Lord said, hold fast. And to Jonathan Clegg, he said, stand fast. Stand fast, stand fast. And boy, boy I'm starting to get the word stand by. Stand by. He said, don't forget Crimea. I recorded it. And now the turning point, it's all pivoting on Crimea. Did you know that? It was on the news about these missiles and how Russia is attacking and Ukraine needs these missiles to get ahead of the game. Well, it didn't mention the fact that those missiles from the West are going to Crimea and the Lord has said, don't forget Crimea and Russia has clearly said, if you hit Crimea, it's holy war. And the word I got with the communist invasion, when I looked about the bear that was moving upside down, and then I saw it going round the corner, up and down, round the corner, and upside down, the bear, the bear wall hit everywhere. Do you, can you, do you not know that? Not everywhere. Everywhere. And it's focused around Crimea at the moment. Because I've said it's a holy war if, it, if they had. Crimea had a democratic vote. 2014. And the West annexed it. Well, they said that they it's annexed. Well, who are they to say that? And most people who know anything know that. But I only know it because the Lord told me. Now I know another thing. I know that that is a turning point. And now I'm in this place where I'm shining my light and they're coming up the elevator. And I'm in the domain dream. The dream's coming to pass. The prophets, the sheep, don't be surprised. Click said, why are you surprised? Oh, you hear his voice. Yeah, we're sheep. We hear his voice. When are you going to have your puppies? What's that going to mean, fire? Oh, shigarabashadada. It's all pink from here. 